We are once again setting foot into Verhunga Savannah multiplayer today, and despite the fact that we've been on a bit of a hot streak on our single player maps and getting quite a few diamonds regardless of what map we go on, the last couple of hunts on Verhunga Savannah have been in multiplayer and they've been quite successful as well, so I figured we'd stick with that. And while we are switching back to multiplayer, I thought we'd switch up our loadout as well and bring a weapon we really never use, that being the drilling combo gun. Now, this gun released as a part of the first weapon pack to come out after the release of this map, so I thought it was rather fitting it was a gun that we used on this map a good bit, and I think it's going to bring a decent little challenge, being that it is a little bit underpowered for things like Cape Buffalo. That's not to say you can't bring him down, but it certainly is not quite like hitting him with the 300, so I think we've gotten to spot them all. We can probably just try to get this level 7, and maybe this is a look at already what can be a bit of an issue. I don't know that frontal shots are a good idea, but I'd rather find out on a level 7 than something else. Why did that miss? <laughs> I think that was just a fluke. We actually had that. When Cape Buffalo kind of got moved around and started drinking down here, the first level 9 we ever saw after that basically was the same result. But that is good to see. I didn't feel like that shot was particularly low in the lungs, and that's been our most consistent way to get lung shots on Charging Cape Buffalo. Low in the lungs, their lungs dip really low down in the body, so it's not a very risky shot to go for, but pretty high percentage as far as getting the lungs. That was dead center, and you know, it went pretty far through, almost center of the spine there. That's not half bad. I'm gonna have to look at the ammo stats for the 9.3, because I'd almost say that's better than the 300 does. I mean, they're really not that different. The 300 has 42 penetration and 14 expansion. The 9.3x74R has 40 penetration and 12 expansion, so just a little bit lower on both. But clearly, kind of in that same class, it, it punched through quite good, and it is classed 5 denied, so things like Kudu or Warthog today we're going to have to take with the 243 pistol. But I actually think that kind of falls in line with the challenge aspect, being that the 243 is probably on the low end for those species as well. But while we have the opportunity, I kind of want to try this sort of frontal angle again. It was a quartering shot more so, but that worked just fine. Again, I'm kind of impressed. There was a time when I feel like the 7mm or similar weapons could have done exactly that, but since the changes, and I don't even know when it was, maybe Rip and Tule, maybe even Mississippi, Cape Buffalo has seemed to just get tougher, and that's not a shot I'd be super confident going for with the 7mm, and it is a little less powerful than the 9.3, but in my mind, I always just kind of class them together. Sometimes I forget even that the 9.3 is 5 to 9, as compared to the 7mm's 4 to 9, but yeah, straight through the heart, room this bear actually just through to the back of the heart. We might kind of mess with that some. I I really thought in grabbing the 9.3 we'd be looking at something where we need super precise shots and, you know, maybe close range should a rare or level 9 show up, but I don't know. I kind of feel like at this point we can hit pretty much anything we want unless the bullet just goes through it for whatever reason. So I guess why not take it one step further? That's about 200 meters, I think. It's sort of tough to range when the reticles just go in through them. It ranged that one. I guess the level is just a touch too far, but we can pretty much assume is right on 200. We'll have to aim a little high, I think. And it could... Why is that happening? That is so weird. It's not just a frontal angle thing, because we just shot the other one. That is bizarre. I'm assuming that's going to be a lung and, and take him down eventually, and he is starting to drop. I was... On one hand, after seeing the level 6 drop, I was hopeful that we may get a chance at a diamond or a rare and try to drop it with the 9.3, because that's certainly something we've never done. We've dropped Diamond Cape Buffalo with the 300, the 338, probably even the 7 mil. Heck, we dropped one with the crossbow in the early days, when that was kind of the meta for taking down a Diamond Cape Buffalo back when Quick Kill was needed, but I don't think we've ever done that with the 9.3. Now I'm just kind of worried about doing it. Sometimes the shot just doesn't hit. Regardless, though, it did end up taking him down with our follow-up. Not a problem, still, we kind of shot through the leg a bit. Not so much through the shoulder, but that definitely adds a little bit of extra flesh and stuff to go through before we get the lung, and even still, it's not like it's close to not getting there, it's well through the lung. 
Well, that just about figures. We have a level 9 here. It's not a big horns level 9, so it's not quite the, like, potential risk, I guess, to go for a frontal shot, so... I guess we'll try it. We'll, we'll see if we can... What is going on? Are they both small horns? I actually can't tell. Neither one of them is a guarantee. Maybe we should go up... It's not really a hill. Unless we go way up and around and... I don't know. I guess what we can do is just kind of sneak our way over. Because ultimately, I guess we're going to try to get a drop shot. And if we do that, we're going to need to alert them to get them to face us. So I don't want to go too far out of the way. This probably gives us the best chance. I can say with confidence now that they are both the smaller horns. Kind of ironic he's facing us. If we just sort of move around a little bit, we might get him to stop and stand still. The plane had not been to shoot through the brush, and naturally, we have that same thing. This one's charging us, so we gotta, like, sort of be careful. Can we get him on the move? I feel like that's gonna be a lung hit. If it's not, it won't even kill him. So it's, it's again, not a risky shot to go for. That's him about to go down. Where did the other nine get to? I honestly have no idea. Like, I was trying to look for it amid, I think, several charging Cape Buffalo. We'll just sort of let them do their thing and, and try to figure out where he went. But I think Diamond's 151.3. This guy was a minimum of 149, so a decent chance. But a gold at 150.41. It's not as unfortunate as it would have been, you know, say a couple years ago. Low weights and not a big surprise he didn't make it. Pretty proud of the shot. But when Brown was more of like an uncommon, it would have been pretty rough. We had three in a row, actually way back in the day that ended up trolling us but then ultimately we did get one and then we've since gotten a bighorns one since they've been a little more common now the question is speaking of common where did the other nine go this is well beyond hoping for a diamond this is to the point of just trying to validate the time put in because we're darn near 30 minutes of tracking this guy and he's just been impossible to get close to what we've actually done, the marker down there is the last track that I had. And I just tried to get up on a high point where we could spot him, and it does appear as though he's maybe trying to get back to his zone. Which is probably good, especially considering he seems like a little bit lost up on that hillside, but I don't know how close we can get. Like, once he starts trotting, he's going to cover ground pretty quick, and I think we're going to have to get a shot off. He is sort of just standing around for a minute. Can't get a whole lot closer before we drop down, and he is on the move again, so... Man, I don't even know that we want to use the 22 strat. Like, I'm afraid of him facing us and having the shot go through him again. I feel like if the 9.3 can do what it's done so far, that should be a long hit. Health's not going down just yet. Finally dropped to 50 to 75. I, I honestly thought it was going to be a flesh hit, and we're going to have to keep going. I don't know what the track distance is going to be, but, like, we started way up here... And I feel like this doesn't even really show the scope of it. And, you know, it's one of those things where I don't know that it's a massive tracking distance. But it's a pretty massive time investment, especially for something that at best is maybe too above diamond. And probably at worst is a troll. But, like I said, it, it after maybe 10, 15 minutes, it became more about validating the time than actually whatever medal he may give. But... All the time put in, all of the tracking and the distance that we've covered, is going to come down to this. And two level nines in one herd. One trolled us. The second one also trolls us. He's actually almost the exact same weight and a little bit smaller. Predictable, especially given the nearly five kilometer tracking distance. But, like I said, the last thing I was going to do is let him get away after we put that much time in. I'm still, okay, I'm still hoping we can maybe get a diamond with a 9.3 today, but rough when both of the first two max levels we find end up trolling. It is lion drink time, or just about those, so maybe we transition to that. It's done so well in Cape Buffalo, I'm certain it can get lions. I can't say I've seen this before. There are two male lions, literally so close together that I cannot spot the one in the back. And I guess the only way to do it is going to be to shoot the one in the front, so... This is what I consider basically the best line hotspot on the map. 
Now there are three males. They did kind of separate. And actually, the one in the back was a max wood estimate 7. So we can try to take him. I don't want to cause too much pressure. That is a fairly far shot, though. And again, we can only zero to 150. And frankly, I don't know what the drop with this gun is. So we're just going to try something like that. I mean, it hit him. And we were behind the shoulder. That actually got him in the lung. No complaints there. We'll take that. But uh, just to show on the map, maybe we'll do that after we take a peek at what that is. It's this lake down here. Really good spot. I find that since the reset and redistribution, it's about as populated an area on the map for lions as anywhere. And it fairly consistently has at least one decent one. And I think in this case, we shot that decent one. By the way, though, that is a pretty decent way of trying to kind of guesstimate how high you have to aim on a shot. If you aim behind the shoulder, if you're way low, you're not going to hit in the leg. So you can shoot underneath it and still get a second shot without wounding it. The only risk is if you're too high and get it in the vertebrae. And there's really not a way around that. You just have to try not to aim too high, I guess. But for this guy, double lung at 326 pretty much center punch the lungs. So not a bad deal. Not too far off hard shotting, but a 46.49. And we'll kind of see, as far as I could tell, everything else around here was kind of average size at best. So I'm not sure where we'll go next, but what I'm hoping to do at least is kind of have some opportunities to pass between lakes. Maybe we'll do this, because this is the spot where I believe it was the last time we came out here. We found a level 9, which, fitting with today's video, it trolled us. But going kind of between the lakes through some of these open areas, we could run into wildebeest, gemsbuck, springbuck, all those types of species that we really haven't gotten after so far today. And I don't intend for this to only be a... 9.3 hunts, so if we could get to use the 243 something, that'd be good. Well, that's a little unfortunate. As soon as I saw that horn shape, I thought there was a chance that was a small horns 5, although the rate we've been going, it likely would have trolled anyway. But it's nice to see something that is not a class 9 animal. I think that's all we've shot so far today. So, taking a little break with a spring buck. We actually did go up and check that lake, and there were a couple of lions, but nothing all that special. And nothing in between. So what we did instead was fast travel south of where we were. And this spot has always been good for Springbuck. You'll get Jacqueline here. I think Ginsbuck and Wallaby should still be around, but kind of less so than they used to be. But in this case, right outside the outpost, we actually have a decent Springbuck. And to the best of my knowledge, level 4 Springbuck just don't make diamonds. So I don't think there's any hope here, even though his estimate went all the way to 115. But we'll take a look and see and then kind of just continue forward. 107's not bad, above 40 kilos, and actually hard shot him with the 243 pistol, not bad. Interesting that the shoulders seemingly come out of the body there, but regardless, a little bigger than that, we'd be in good shape. If there is one species that I feel like I don't have a clue about since the reset and redistribution, it is Lesser Kudu, and we've got a max weight track here, which you get a lot of level 4 max would estimate kudu it's not like it's a a very high odds thing to to hit a track like this but unless they're all over where the cape buffalo are which they may be that's where they were last but i don't even know what time they drink or anything we've not been after them really since any of that happened but i think we'll try to figure out where this guy has gotten to it's fresh tracks i'd like to think we can locate them and considering there are no will to be drinking here which I think we've established that before, but I ended up coming down here anyway. Might as well make something of our run over to this lake. I've gotta assume that's him at least. It's a pretty decent level 4 up to 155. And this might be the only spot we can get a shot through. There's like one little window where we can see him, so we do have to use the 243 pistol. At least we can zero for the proper range. And mine is terrible recoil control. I think it... Should have hit him well. Kind of lost him. He's at the back and... Or wait. That's a separate one. Well, I don't know which one we shot, but... Hopefully it was a lung hit. Anyway, we'll find out pretty soon. It was a long track, but it was a vital hit, so at least we were able to get him in the lungs. I don't think that's, like, the diamond horns, but... As I mentioned, it's been a while since we've shot one of these. He has a 143. I thought he was 144. Minimum must have been 143 to 155. Not bad, though. Got him right lung at 215. 
And I think probably what we'll do just because we got trolled by two Cape Buffalo out of the same herd is take our 9.3 and head back there again. It's almost Cape Buffalo drink time and just see if we can get redemption. It may have had something to do with the fact that we had two level 9 Cape Buffalo so early on in this hunt, but I really thought that we'd have an easier time finding another one and that is just not the case. So what I think we're going to do instead is try to get that level 7. At least the shot didn't go through him that time. And based on everything we've seen from the 9.3, I think that's going to take it down. Not quite able to spot it as it runs off, but we'll check the blood and see. But we've pretty much run all the way up through here. And I kind of think maybe someone else has already hunted this area because there were just no Cape Buffalo along the coast, which I can only imagine that's why. But regardless, can't complain about a hunt in which we found two level 9s in the same herd. We've had that... I'm going to say at least three times counting this one. And in the past, one has always made it. So this is the first time we got double trolled, but I guess uh, if there's a positive to it, they were ones that we've already had diamonds of. We've had the diamond brown fur type before. We've had, obviously, diamond commons. So just kind of is what it is. Sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. But now that I think of it, going back to the beginning of the video, I mentioned that we've been having pretty good luck in multiplayer on for hunger and to be fair again we did have the two level nines but maybe that's a sign we need to try a single player once again i still want to get on like a lion grind there's just so many different things going on anytime that i consider doing a grind of any kind i go back to the idea that we still have diamonds to look for on revan tuli we still have the great one black bear to grind for and i kind of figure we're best off doing stuff like that but on that note I think that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.